Yellowstone's steamboat geyser has had decades-long dry spells brought on by a history of droughts, a new study finds. With global temperatures on the rise, the American West is projected to become drier. Sustained drought in this region could slow down, and possibly halt, Yellowstone National Park's famous geyser eruptions, the researchers say. Even small changes in precipitation could affect the interval between eruptions, explained Shaul Hurwitz, a hydrologist at the United States Geological Survey, USGS, who led the study. So more water means more frequent eruptions, while less water means less frequent eruptions. Geysers need very specific conditions to form, including a water source, heat supply, and the right geologic plumbing. Environmental conditions such as drought can tip that balance and cause geysers to go dormant. The new study, published in Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geosystems, used partially mineralized wood by steamboat geyser to reconstruct its past periods of inactivity and determine what caused the geyser's dry spells. When steamboat erupts, the geyser's heated water spray coats nearby trees in silica, a mineral that can prevent decomposition. This silica mist slowly smothers the trees, eventually killing them while preserving the wood's structure. Steamboat, the world's tallest active geyser, can spray water up to about 115 meters, 377 feet, into the air for as long as 90 minutes at a time. Unlike the park's old faithful geyser, Steamboat does not erupt on a predictable schedule, with eruption intervals ranging from just 3 days to 50 years, according to the USGS.